and then it says I just send you the information and then let me show you now um, the message that I received with um, yeah the message the time uh, the date and time that I just set hello there I'm JC and I want to show you case in this video like how you can send SMS from your voiceful project without needing to build like an external automation and you can then start sending SMS so let's uh, take a look here first at the project and then how you can implement this. Um, right now, it's a very simplistic uh, demo just for the test purposes uh, of the function. But um, you can see that uh, yeah, the key part, the main part is going to be the one at the top. So here I'm asking like what is uh, a, a scenario of like a booking an appointment. So booking date, date and time. Um, capturing the user phone number here you can change this for capturing an entity but I'm just putting the whole capture reply into this um, yeah, variable and then we get into the function uh, first a set a step to set the message like the SMS content to what the user said as booking date time and then we get into the actual function so you will I see that there are some information here. Um, the SMS message is the one that we just set. The user phone number is the one that we are capturing here. But this can be something that you have on your CRM or if you are using this uh, on a phone AI agent here in VoiceFlow, you will get as the user ID. And then uh, we have like the business phone number, which is in this case would be like the Twilio phone number. And then I set two secrets, one for the auth token of Twilio and one for the account SID. And these last three uh, pieces of information, you can get them on the Twilio console. So if you go to the, your Twilio account, then you have like the account SID, the token and the Twilio phone number. So keep in mind always that both for the two um, phone number are the from phone number. Um, you need to have them in this format, which is like plus um, plus the country code and plus the actual uh, phone number. So you need to have this in this format or transform it either with a code with, or with AI. But yeah, this is important. Otherwise, it will fail. And then that's pretty much for my demo, my simple demo. I just say send the information via SMS. And then if it fails, says, um, yeah, no SMS was sent. I think that's uh, pretty much very simple, but just to showcase um, that you can send SMS also from VoiceFlow. And on this set variable, I'm setting the it's important that you come here and then set your phone number or the phone number on Twilio since it will be capped in the, in the function. And yeah, I think that's uh, for this one. Okay, now it's demo time. So I will run this uh, workflow and then you can see um, how it works in action. But um, yeah, it will ask me like user phone, inf user phone number here. And the disclaimer is that I put um, the actual phone numbers in the function right now to for, for the demo, for demo purposes. But um, yeah, they will stay uh, private um, right now. So these are like real phone numbers. So um, what I will show you now is my SMS application. So you can see the, the messages that I have right now before the test. So let me show you here um, one sec. OK. So now we, I have two, two tests, uh, two test messages, and then uh, let's give it a try. So uh, run test. Okay. Uh, I would like to yeah schedule an appointment. Uh, what time? So let's put something that it's factual right now. So tomorrow, February 4th at, um, let's say, yeah, 1726, that's the time that I have, uh, want to have my appointment. So let's hit here. What's your phone number? Let's put a yeah fictional phone number. This is not a real phone number. And then it says, I just send you the information. 
And then let me show you now um, the message that I received with um, yeah the message, the time, uh, the date and time that I just set. So that's uh, pretty much. Now, if we take a closer look at the function and how it would work, um, of course, you can um, take a look yourself, but I probably uh, would say that you don't need to. Um, but yeah, just in case, like you are going to come here and then we do some yeah, pre-processing here and then we get some validation as well. And then we get into the actual function. So um, right now I'm doing, or I created a, a couple of functions to be being able to connect to the Twilio API because um, for the authentication, they need a basic authentication. And for that, we need to base 64 encode user, uh, the account SID and the auth token. And then for the body, uh, it needs to be like form URL encoded. So because of that, I also build this uh, URL encode um, yeah, function, which you can find them at the end. And yeah, this is worked because of a hoisted uh, feature on JavaScript. Essentially the function is available um, already on, at runtime. But yeah, you don't need to really care about this code. Um, what you need to care about is that here we send the, the request as post. We get the response body, the whole thing. And then um, I'm not returning the response, but then you can customize here the, the function to do so. Uh, what I'm doing is just uh, if it is an error, then I put uh, yeah some information about that. If it is not, it says um, call successful, and that's uh, pretty much for the function code. Okay, I think that's all for this one. If you find it helpful, um, please uh, leave a comment so I know that um, yeah it helps somebody else. And I think that's all. See you on the next one. Bye.